All right, all right, all right. Right now, I just opened up a game I just downloaded. One of the decision-making games, which I think anyone that really knows me knows I I can just pass out for. I mean, role, you know, like role-playing games and simulation games. As you can hear, I'm a pretty casual gamer. Um, but I really enjoy the decision-based games. And if you just throw in some you know, handsome characters and some really good internal conflict, some crazy external conflict, best believe I'm there. So here we have, um, did not get out of the screen. Okay. Oh, so I just had to receive it. Okay. I'm, I'm learning so much. I just got this game. It's called Dangerous Fellows and I got it off of like the Google Play store. Um, and from what I've seen in the trailer, I haven't read a lot about it or online about it. I just I said, hey, I see something, saw something, like something. I got it, which is probably why my Amazon account is like crazy. Um, so I decided to uh, download it. It's about this girl and um, I guess she's living in like a world where zombies are taking over or something. And she's one of a few individual people, uh, part of a group, trying to kind of survive it, uh, is what it looks like. And of course there's, you know, jealousy and love and all these other plot points, I guess, that's in there. So let's go ahead and get the voice. Okay, secret DM, is that something I should tell? Hey, your number, please. What? You have no mobile? I will give you a spare one. Call me when you're in trouble. I will receive that. Those are important, especially if it's a zombie. We'll see a DM every day at a specified time here. Ooh, consistency. Keep in mind you can access DM for two hours each day at the specified time. Don't worry, if you miss DM, use rubies to access DM anytime. It's like Ruby's the uh, currency in this game. Is that something I have to continue to earn? Sometimes games can just let you get so far when it comes to what you need. Bell chime. Oh, DM has arrived. Go and open it now. <laughs> Happy face. <laughs> Jerk. That can be a few people I know. Hey, Zion, are you alive? You aren't a zombie, are you? Do not reply. Zion, are you okay? I'll drive by your school. Huh? Uh, I'm not Zion. Um, I, who are you? I guess that's the best one. Who are you? What? You aren't Zion. I'm his friend. Ah, right. He has two cell phones. I'm his cousin. You can tell when you see me, I also have a red hair. He copied me, though. <laughs> a red hair. <laughs> he didn't explain much about the situation, right? Ask whatever you want. Well, why do I have his phone? <laughs> Nothing. How can I send a message? Um... I mean, I feel like I'm sending messages, but let me just ask if there's another way. Um, I don't know. I'm just thankful we can use cell phones. There are some buildings where we can pick up Wi-Fi signal so I can keep in touch with him. But save the battery. We haven't found a way to charge it yet. Maybe you could find a way. I wish you good luck. Well, that wasn't all that useful, Mr. Jerk. Um, did we get his name? I don't think we did. He's just the cousin of Zion, so. Well... Learn too much from that. Um, okay. Hmm. So I do actually now that I'm remembering this, I play games too often. I feel like I have started this before and I never finished it. I went like through half of the chapter and then deleted it because I don't know. I I have something commitment isn't my best friend all the time come on you need to hurry should i do voice acting for this guys i don't feel like i should 
The swarm of zombies chasing us grew in size at a rapid rate. At a quick glance, I can see the torn and ragged flesh on their faces. Ooh. I wish they were slower. With that speed, no one would tell they were undead. Oh boy. Grrr. Grrr. Or whatever. <laughs> I swear, please, just... A firmly closed gate caught my eye and I rushed over to push it open, but it wouldn't budge. One of the boys with light-colored hair looked frustrated as he stepped over to help me push the door open. I told you you shouldn't have gotten involved. One zombie, way faster than the rest, was closing in on us with his arms reaching out. I cowered to avoid getting caught. Oh, come on. Please open. With a heavy falling noise, the zombie <laughs> is a zombie. Lord, the zombie collapsed. Hurry! Did you hit it with that that bat? Wow. Okay. Without hesitation, one of the guys started pounding the zombie with his baseball bat. Thank you. The dark red blood splashed everywhere. This is a bit gory. Getting a bit braver, seeing it fell fall like that, I took steps from the door. I then rushed as hard as I could, throwing my body to the door. Crash. The door flung open, and both the guy and I fell on the ground and rolled over. The guys fighting the zombies barely made it in as well. Ethan, stop. What are you doing? Come on. Oh, he's the silent type, I see. Get inside, quick. Hmm. As soon as the guy with the bat made it inside, we promptly closed the door behind him and locked it. The locking sound gave me a slight sigh, but every inch of my body was feeling sore. Yeah, I'm out of shape too. Oh, that was close. Ooh. The zombies were banging on the metal doors of the gate. We all would have been dead if it wasn't for that door. The exact thought of it gave me goosebumps. Are you all right? Uh, what was that light bulb? Is that I can get a hint? I don't think I want a hint. Um, I like him. He seems he seems like a helpful fellow. Unlike that guy with the blonde hair, which is like kind of rude. Like I know that it's every man for himself, but jeez. Um. I'm going to respond likely how I would respond. Um, and I'm, I'm such a... I would say, how are you? Are you hurt? <laughs> because that's... I'm always thinking about others sometimes. Well, all the time. I'm fine. Did you get hurt? Oh, his eyes look so soft. No. I'm glad to see you weren't harmed. Yo. Stop being so lame, and let's go inside. You're right. Everyone already went in. One guy, who had been staring at us, wagged his finger with a frown on his face. We were safe. For now. Dun dun dun. I followed the guys inside and somehow, in the somehow familiar school. This looked like the school close to where I used to live. I feel like I should give them leases. I don't think I can keep up with them. So why the heck did we even help her? This is the guy. You almost got us killed. Hey, be nice. Did we see this guy? Anyone would have done the same thing in that situation. Thank you. This is so annoying. Are you ever not annoyed? <laughs> Just be quiet, man. I'm tired. This was all so crazy. Should I say something? I guess I should at least know their names. I'm Harry. Hmm? My name. Harry. I like Harry. Did he read my mind? He put his hand out with a kind smile. What's your name? With that smile, 
their soft gaze become even became even prettier than before. I nod him and told him my name. Oh, and this is the part where I put my name. Um, I guess I will put my name. <laughs> it's Mocha. Wow, that's such a beautiful name. It's definitely not normal. Really? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Wow, he's such a Mr. Positive. I mean, in comparison. I felt a bit shy by his friendliness, so I looked away. I noticed the other guys coming over. What are you two doing here? Just getting acquainted, since I feel like we're going to stay together here for a while. Knowing people's name ain't going to keep you alive, you know. Don't say that. It's kind of nice that we all met. Nice? <laughs> My name is Lawrence. The guy with glasses introduced himself. Lawrence. Lawrence. Yeah. I know, I know sometimes it takes some time to get in your head. I'm I'm Mocha. You look like you're a high schooler, am I right? Everyone here, except for that guy over there, is 18. Hmm, nice to know age. Oh really? I felt like we were about the same age. But wasn't there another guy? I turned my head and spot the guy from earlier swinging his baseball bat. Thanks to him, I was able to get away from the zombies. Hey. Ethan. Hmm? Yeah, he, he's that silent type. He put his bat down and looked at me. Why don't you tell our new friend your name? Ethan. Nice to meet you, Ethan. Thanks for saving me back there. Mm. I, I feel like this can just be like sound, guys. Mm. Hey, my name's Zion. Oh, so that's uh, it's Mr. Jerk's cousin. Don't cause any trouble like earlier. Oh, here goes another one. I'll try my best. Hey, Eugene, you're not going to introduce yourself? Man, I don't feel like it. This is so pointless. How would I respond for real? Well, you don't need to if you don't want to. I just want to get along. I just want to know your name. You don't need to if you don't want to. I, I, <laughs> well, you don't need to if you don't want to. Hmm? What the? Don't treat me like I'm a kid. <laughs> you are a child. Okay, fine. My name is Eugene. As you heard, I'm one year younger than the rest. But that doesn't mean you should underestimate me. You should get some rest and leave. After saying those harsh words, Eugene walked away. Great. He seemed to be on edge, but I didn't feel like he was a bad guy. I don't care. <laughs> As you can hear, Eugene's probably not going to be one of my love interests. I'm not the, uh, uh, not that kind of type. I can see how some people like the little pouty guys with a intriguing past, though. It makes sense. Just not for me. Haha, -ha, shrug it off. Shrug, sh what did I say? Haha, -ha, just shrug it off. Eugene's got a rough tongue. Hmm. I apologize on his behalf. Why don't you come inside? You don't need to apologize. The world wasn't exactly a nice place either. I mean, there's zombies. Thinking about that made me depressed. Lawrence waved at us and we followed him into one of the classrooms. I noticed you seemed quite uncomfortable around the others. Have you been on your own this whole time? Oh, um... Yeah, I see. It must have been tough. What well, Harry said, it reminded me of people from my previous life. Mom, Dad, all my dear friends. Were they okay? What were they doing? I was worried. Yeah, I miss them a lot. What? Are you crying? 
for goodness sake, we freaking saved you and now you're crying? Uh, no, I'm just... I wasn't usually like this. I burst out crying and my entire face covered in tears. I wiped off the tears with my sleeve, like every anime girl. Zion, come on, don't you think it's too much? She's not the one having a hard time. You don't think this is hard on us? No one here is without problems, man. Who says we are? Just stop. Seriously. The room had turned quiet after everyone heard Zion yelling. What they all said was true. I wanted to stop crying, but I, I couldn't control my emotions. Someone started to pat me on my shoulder. It's all right. It's all good. Don't bottle it up. It's not for you. Cry it off. I swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an a-hole who can't sympathize with people. Well, your words, not mine. Well, this a-hole's gonna hit the bed. Zion left, too. I felt awkward, as if I had made a mistake by coming here. I was overwhelmed by my emotions, I missed my family, and I got nervous around all these new people. Barely able to stop crying, I wiped my tears off my face. <sighs> Sorry. It's just... I suddenly remembered everyone I used to know. I'm sure they're all fine. You'll definitely see them all again. Uh, Harry, that's... I, I, don't, I don't know. Will I? Thank you, Harry. How about you guys? Don't you have anyone that you miss? Of course. I lost my mom. I sure miss her. I miss my family, too. But... I don't think about them much anymore. Uh, that, that's, that's a red flag. Jeez. It's more important to focus on staying alive. And how about you, Ethan? Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> what? <laughs> like Zion said, they all had tragic events in their lives. It was tough time for all of us. As I leaned back against the wall, front door opened with a loud bang. Whew, that was close. Yeah, we're lucky to still be alive. Oh, you guys are back too. Thank goodness, you guys are all right. A bunch of exhausted looking people walked in. Just by seeing them exchanging looks between each other, I can tell they've been staying with these guys. Did something happen? Lawrence asked the group who just walked in. His voice was calm and gentle, yet still so powerful. I don't know how to do that voice. This must be what made him such a charismatic leader compared to the rest. Oh my gosh, you guys won't believe this. We were just walking into this convenience store and all of a sudden this pack of zombies just... Oh? You... Judy... My voice raised in pitch and speed as I heard her speak. I realized who it was. It was my friend, Judy. Judy! Judy! But but how did you... I mean, you are alive? Are you okay? This isn't a dream, is it? I can't believe you. You're really here. I, I hate voice acting now that I think about it. <laughs> I'm gonna hate my voice at the end of this. I was totally worried about you. Me too. I really missed you. I was so happy to see her that I jumped over to her and gave her a big hug. Shocked, Judy just blinked her eyes widely open, her eyes widely before finally hugging me back. I felt so relieved that my tears started welling up again. Uh, what's up with these two? What the- I just came to check out what they had brought back. What's with the soap opera? Man, that's it for me here. I'm leaving now. Stay close by. Yes, sir. I don't want to die, you know. 
Eugene clicked his tongue and left the classroom again, shortly after his return from somewhere. What about the others? Do you do you know what happened to our friends? I don't know. You are the, you're the first one I met so far. M maybe it's better we we don't know. Mm. Yeah, it's tough. I wanted to ask her about friends. I wanted to ask her about her friends, but soon as I decided I was better not to ask. I'm so glad you met here. Well, I'm so glad I met you here. Yeah, we should do our best to stay alive. She was right. I had to stay alive and believe that all my loved ones were alive and well too. We hugged and comforted each other. Then we wiped off our tears and smiled. Um. The sliding door opened unexpectedly. I'm back. Am I late? Hey. We've all been waiting for you, Scarlet. I noticed all the zombies out by the front gate. So I thought I would check them out for a bit. You shouldn't. That's, that's too dangerous. I got a question. A pretty girl walked in. She seemed to be part of the group too. I decided to greet her, but what the, what's with the new face? She made an intimidating face at me as soon as she noticed me. Oh, one of them. It seemed more like she was wary. Or wary. Is it wary? I mean, I kind of understand. Hopefully she'll warm up when we get to know each other a bit better. I said, why the heck is there a newcomer here? I want to know that too. I was just about to introduce you. We helped her earlier today. Hi. I'm... Are you guys even sure she's not infected? I understood the extra caution given the circumstances, but cutting me off like that? Not cool. I walked over to her to tell her I wasn't infected. But... Hey! She's got blood on her hand! <gasps> Everyone looked at me in horror. She's infected, isn't she? Oh, rubies. Okay. Oh, so that was episode one. Okay. Um, that was, I think it was a pretty good episode one. Um, definitely interested on what's going to happen next. Um, I'm already getting an idea of who's going to be in my way and who's going to help push my way. But, you know, with all of this craziness happening, you never know how things change. But that lady, that girl, who I don't know the name of, who just appeared in literally seconds ago, and I'm, I can see that she's going to be some trouble. And she doesn't even look like the kind to kind of like squash it like like just squash a fight and just leave it alone and just grill she's like that high school prissy girl that just doesn't want just wants to be the center of attention and just I don't know that's what I'm getting off of her oh her name's Scarlet right Scarlet that's what I'm getting off of Scarlet but maybe I'm wrong I could be wrong people but I, I don't think I am but I could be <laughs> um and so it's, it's nice to know that I have a friend Judy that um not everybody I know is confirmed dead, at least right now. Um, so, I mean, that's that's always a pleasure to know. I have some friend. I have an A friend. But in, in regards to the guys, uh, the blonde one, Eugene, he's, he's a bit mean. I feel like he's going to warm up to me at some point, but I don't know. The red hair guy, Zion, he seems like he's also a bit pushy, but... I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm actually, I think the only one I do know a bit about is Harry. And he just seems like a very soft-hearted person. And that, who's the other one? Lawrence, the leader guy with the glasses. He seems like a nice guy. Seems helpful. Seems like he just wants to, like, survive. And that's all we're trying to do here. With no drama involved. But it wouldn't be a good role-playing decision-based game if there wasn't drama <laughs> so that's cool
Um, so that's it for the uh, episode one of Dangerous Fellows. As you can see, I'm playing off of like my Amazon Fire tablet. I'm also using the mic from this tablet too. So I don't know how great of a quality this is going to be. I'm only going to know when I like run it back. I hope it's pretty good and decent for you guys can listen to. And if you've already played the game, obviously don't leave any spoilers in the comments, but let me know what do you think and um, how do you think about these guys if you haven't played the game? Who are you leaning towards? Who's more of, you know, something, a path that you might, you know, attach yourselves to? Or do you, do you see yourself maybe downloading this game for yourself? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but as for me and Mocha on the screen here, not ex you know not exactly looking exactly like me but um she definitely has my um personality traits in regards to how she speaks and how i'm gonna respond as her um we're gonna take this one episode at a time and if i find people are enjoying it then i'll keep doing it um and if and if you have any, you know, suggestions or recommendations, you can always just see what other games are out there that I can play for you guys that you will all be interested in. So let me know and I'll see you next time. Thank you again for visiting and watching.